Today's video is all going to be about the backswing. So we're going to be discussing points like hand depth, connection of your lead arm across your chest, and making sure you complete your turn in your backswing. Make sure you check this video out. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is all going to be about the backswing. And the first point I'm going to touch on is the hand depth. And I'm going to show you a great drill to improve your hand depth, which is actually going to work a little bit on point three, increasing your coil in your backswing or your turn. If this video does help, make sure you hit the uh, thumbs up. Do consider subscribing to my channel if you're new to it. If you hit the little bell icon as well, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live. And my info for my social media just coming along the bottom of the screen. So hand depth, that, that can sound a very confusing thing and it shouldn't really be. I see too many golfers where they are lifting their hand, hands up. They're almost trying to create a high backswing or they've seen images with players with their arms up here and they're trying to lift to the top of the backswing. And that really means they don't their turn they don't create a big enough turn so what I want to see is our hands a little bit deeper as a great checkpoint from a downline camera I would like to see my left arm my lead arm almost dissecting my right shoulder so what I could do as a training drill if you're someone who tends to get too narrow or the arms a little bit too lifted if you put another golf ball as a marker almost behind the middle of the foot here what I'm trying to get and I'm gonna move it just a little bit further away from me is I'm almost trying to get the end of the grip feeling like it's pointing down at that golf ball, meaning my hand depth is a little bit more behind me. That really helps me increase my coil in the backswing. So my hands are a little bit deeper behind me and I've created a bigger backswing here. So I can just get that feeling, the end of the grip, grip points actually behind me here. I would really probably take anywhere from there to the ball to target line, but what we don't want to see is arms lifting and the club pointing way out too far this way. So hands are a little bit deeper you can see as a checkpoint from a downline camera that club shaft sorry my lead arm is more through my right shoulder here so my hands are there for a little bit deeper and that's really helped me as I said create that coil that I'm really looking for in the back soon so big wind up 90 degrees if I stretch my arms out you'll see a similar position of where that butt end of the golf club is going to be pointing now I'm going to discuss point number two the connection of the lead arm across your chest so the other part I want to see in your backswing is a little bit more connection of your lead arm across your chest. Now to be fair, if you get the hand depth correctly and make this big coil, this should start to happen automatically. But what you could do is a couple of simple drills. I normally have, and I'm annoyed I haven't brought it with me, a stretch band, a TheraBand, which works really well, just because it's a little bit small, a little bit, sorry, thinner than the towel. But you could just use the towel or the stretch band across your chest to try and make some swings. And the feeling is that the lead arm is going to work across your chest. Now if that happens, I think the hand depth will be good and you'll have made that big coil away from the golf ball. If that feels a bit too cumbersome, as I said, the stretch band is good. But you could even just put a glove, do the Velcro underneath that lead arm or even just pinch up some of your shirt and feel like you tuck it under that arm. Now that does not mean I want to create more tension in that lead arm, but I'm just looking for this lead arm to feel like it moves a little bit more across my chest here to help me create that backswing I'm really looking for. So I'm looking for a good 90 degree shoulder turn. My hips will have turned around half of that to allow it depending on flexibility. You can see that my lead arm is more dissecting my right shoulder. That means my right arm is a little bit further out away from my body. When I see people lift to the top, they generally get their hands almost towards the left side of their chest, their right elbow almost a little bit too cramped in close to their body. And then the only place it can go is to try and extend wrongly in the downswing. So we tend to see this narrow, then wide on the downswing, which is obviously a sequence we don't want. So I think uh, once you've got the feelings of that, it's perhaps just checking on camera, looking on video. You could do some mirror exercise if your driving range has got some mirrors behind you. But what I'm gonna get to do here, I'm gonna just put one ball behind me. Working a little bit on that hand depth. So behind about the middle of the foot, far enough away from me I can feel like I'm almost pointing the grip end down towards that which will give me that sensation that my lead arm is connected across my chest and my hands are a little bit deeper in the backswing. Let's give it a whirl. And the 
second shot I'm going to hit is without the glove, I'm going to use the glove under my lead armpit again to create that connection. So I think these points are all intertwined really, but if we can create this connection, get our hand depth correct, make that big coil, we've really made a very efficient backswing and that will really help our downswing. So with this one, I'm keeping the glove under there. I don't mind it drops on the way through, but I'm just keeping it for the backswing. You can see that glove's dropped, but it's dropped on the follow through. It hasn't dropped on the backswing, which is the really important part there. If this video has helped, if those uh, couple of exercises helped, as I said at the start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up to this video, and I'll see you guys soon.